One thing that we see every now and then is that the fire pit creates a whistling or there's some noise coming out of it that can be obnoxious, especially when you're sitting around it uh, trying to relax. So in front of me here is a basic uh, DIY fire pit kit. You have the burner, you have the pan or plate, you have the flex line, and you have the key valve. So there's three, th three key things that can impact that whistling or line noise you hear. Ultimately, it is line noise. So it's not being created by the burner, it's actually happening downstream, whether that's the flex line or the actual gas line you have going to the fire pit. So how it happens is the gas goes through the line as it meets obstacles or uh, at certain kind of levels of gas flow, it can actually create vibrations that then create acoustics that you ultimately hear coming out of the burner. So there's a few different things to consider. First of all, make sure you have low pressure uh, for natural gas. So it's gonna be about a quarter PSI for propane, it's gonna be about just under a half PSI. So pretty low pressure, and that's gonna be standard for pretty much any gas appliance. The other thing is make sure you're using a whistle-free flex line. So here in here, we have a whistle-free flex line. You can tell it's whistle-free because the ribbings get tighter and the more spread out. Helps break up that flow a little bit compared to what you might find at box stores, which is gonna be a non-whistle-free flex line. You'll notice the ribbings are all um, standardly spaced apart. And as it travels through those ribbings, it can create that noise. So make sure your gas pressure is low pressure in the proper range. Make sure you're using a whistle-free flex line like one of these two over here that has those corrugations uh, mixed up. And also make sure there's no sharp bends or kinks in it. You don't want your flex line like this inside the fire pit. As it goes through that curve, it can again create vibrations, acoustics, and lead to that noise coming out of the burner. So a lot of variables at play, but ultimately if you focus on those three things, and you can help prevent whistling noise.